Let's talk a little bit about the Lucas Girling backing plate and cylinders. Now, for any of you guys that are running this particular brake on your truck and you've got maybe a fleet or whatever, you know that they're prone to leakage. They are not that grand of a system. But let's talk a little bit about what you can do to protect it when it comes to installing a new backing plate on your truck. Okay? First thing you got to remember is that your master cylinder is full of dirty brake fluid. Dirty brake fluid. You've got cylinders here that got new sleeves in them that are polished to a mirror inside and you've got cups, inch and three quarter wheel cylinder style type cups inside here on pistons that run back and forth. Now imagine if you had grit and dirt in your brake fluid and you took a brand new cylinder like that and you pumped your brake pedal and you sent all that dirty brake fluid inside these cylinders. Can you imagine what that would do? It scratches. It, it, it scratches that bore. And when you scratch the bore and you increase pressure, you got, you know, 15 to 1800 pounds coming out of these cylinders. And you scratch the bore. You allow the brake fluid to transfer from one side of the cup to the other, and now you've got a leak. And it's just a matter of time before it works its way through the boot and your cylinder is leaking. So we really encourage get rid of your old brake fluid. Let's start with a clean slate. Before you push a brake pedal or bleed your system, let's make sure we're putting in clean fluid into these cylinders. Why defeat the purpose? Put a new unit on and inject it with dirty fluid. So let's do that first. Secondly, we find is that these boots where the brake shoes are, you know, the brake shoes that of course attach in here to the adjusters, and you've got new adjusters on all the cylinders, so the adjusters should turn freely when you set the brakes on. But when you've retracted everything and you're going to go to put your shoe on, if you cut these boots, which happens so often because we know they're not that easy a shoe to put on, but be careful that the shoe doesn't slip out of your way and jump and hit and nick the boot. Because then what happens, you get everything together, you get it bled, you're going down the road, and now the brake dust that creates inside this wheel or the road grime or dirt that comes off the road goes into that boot, goes into that hole that you've cut. And now you've got the exact same thing as contaminated fluid. You've got grit inside that beautiful cylinder scratching the bore. And there again, it causes a leak. Now, for you guys that are mechanics out there, you probably remember and know that wherever you run a wheel cylinder, the manufacturers, whether it be GM, Ford, whoever, have always put a residual valve in the system. And the reason they do that is the residual valve maintains pressure to hold those cups open a little bit or flared out so that you don't get weepage past the cylinders when the truck is sitting at rest. So what's happened with this Lucas Girling system though is when they designed the master cylinder because you've probably got a disc brake on the front and you've got a Lucas system on the back with shoe brakes with this style of brake when they built the master cylinder for it, they didn't put a residual valve in it from factory, OE. There's no residual valves. So what happens is then when the master cylinder or the system's at rest, those cups totally collapse. They totally do. Whereas if there was a residual valve in the line, then it would hold those cups open a little bit and there wouldn't be that leakage. So what we've designed is this RCO1 valve that we would like you to put in the line that goes back to the back end of your Lucas brakes. And what this does is it maintains 10 pounds of residual pressure. So when you go to rest, that 10 pounds stays in there, the cups stay flared a little bit on the wall, and you don't get that weeping. You don't get that weepage passed. We put this on a number of bus companies throughout the country, and they're having really good success with putting that RCO1 valve in the line so that you get that residual pressure. We feel if you do those things, clean brake fluid, be careful of the boots, put the residual check valve in the line, that you'll have a good basis for a lasting brake system.